We are inside a planetary drilling device, not standing on the surface, but descending at a depth of a few hundred meters outside the reinforced glass viewport. There is soil, rock, and familiar geological layers. This still looks like the world humans know. The sound of metal grinding against stone is steady and heavy. As we go deeper, the temperature begins to rise. Pressure presses against the drill casing like an invisible hand. Rock no longer fractures cleanly. It bends, compresses, as if Earth itself resists being opened. At several thousand meters below the surface, darkness thickens. Tiny fractures glow faintly, not from fire, but from heat leaking out from within the planet. This space is no longer meant for life. As we enter the upper mantle, rock is no longer rock in the way we understand it. It moves slowly, densely, like a thick fluid breathing in silence. Temperatures here exceed 1,000 degrees Celsius. Pressure is extreme, deeper still. The lower mantle, movement slows even more. Not because there is less energy, but because matter is compressed so intensely that even time feels heavier here. Temperatures rise into the thousands of degrees Celsius. Pressure is strong enough to alter atomic structures. Then, suddenly, everything glows. We have entered the outer core, an ocean of liquid metal, mostly iron and nickel, circulating slowly around the drill. This is where Earth's magnetic field is born. No waves, no turbulence, just an invisible force keeping the planet alive. Finally, the drill reaches the center, the inner core, a solid sphere of metal, hotter than the surface of the sun, yet remaining solid only because the pressure here is immense. No motion, no sound, only trapped energy. If Earth has a heart, this is where it beats. And humans were never meant to be here.